Your wish became my command. Months ago, I've taken a look at Phenomenal Lightwings fans by the brand Be Quiet. At the time, I was testing the regular version of those that maxed out at 1700 RPM. Quite a few of you have pressured me into taking a closer look at the even more powerful version for a review, so I can do a direct comparison both in terms of performance as well as noise levels. So today I'm presenting you the Be Quiet Lightwings High Speed 120mm fans, the 3 pack version. The high speed version can now spin up to 2500 RPM instead of those 1700 RPM I've dealt with previously. So we're looking at some nice wind there, meaning this comparison could turn out fairly interesting. The great thing about this is that there's hardly any noteworthy difference in pricing between the regular light wings and high speed variant, at least over here in Europe. Today's 3 pack of those high speed fans can currently be had for about 80 US dollars. A single fan on the other hand would cost you about 25 to 30 dollars. As always, buying more fans at once will get you a better deal. Of course, I'm trying my best to somewhat extend and add fan models to my fan comparison, at least if time allows it. So I've also taken the liberty to include some white ARGB fans by the brand Xylens. These, however, are not meant to be compared with today's light wings by any means. Very well, included in a box of the Lightwings high speed, there obviously are three of those fans. All the screws, an ARGB hub to easily hook up several ARGB fans and devices, and lastly, an adhesive surface for the hub along with some paper documentation. I'm really a fan of that ARGB hub, I really like that they include it. However, let me be clear. This is simply a hub and in no way a controller of some sort. This doesn't change any colors or effects for you. I'm just pointing that out to avoid any misunderstandings right away. Right off the bat, I'd like to confirm that both in terms of looks and build quality, there's no difference between the regular Lightwings and this high-speed version of them. Both are remarkably well made, are fairly heavy and robust. You immediately know you're dealing with quality when holding such a fan in one's hand. Needless to say, the fans do come with rubber pads to avoid any vibration noise. Now, should you decide not to make use of the included ARGB hub or you simply purchase a single fan separately, rest assured that every fan is coming with both a male as well as female 3 pin 5 volt connector, so you can easily daisy chain several of those. All right, so where lie the technical differences between these two Lightwings versions? Both come equipped with a good rifle bearing, it's just that the high speed version is keeping its promise of delivering up to 2500 RPM. That of course leads to a higher max airflow, along with a significantly higher static pressure. So it's pretty clear that these Lightwings high speed are meant to go with radiators primarily. In theory, we should see some serious advantages here. Unfortunately, that higher fan speed does also make the noise level go up. Even though given the 2500 RPM, a max of 31 decibels still seems very reasonable. I will conduct my own testing, of course. This is where my test system comes into play, consisting of the CPU, AMD Ryzen 9 5950X, a 16 core, socket Antri ASRock X570 PG Velocitam motherboard, and cooled by an AI liquid cooler by the brand Be Quiet, going by the name of Pure Loop 360mm. Now, how am I going to conduct the tests, you ask? First, I will run the tests with the max fan speeds. I will not only be writing down the temperature results achieved, but also what kind of noise level I'm being able to read out with the help of my decibel meter. Once I've completed that test, we'll move on to testing with a fixed decibel value of 40 decibels, meaning that all fans will be running at the exact same noise level of 40 decibels in that test, so we'll be able to measure the offered performance at identical noise levels. But before that, I'd like to clearly let you know that I've disabled any CPU clock speed or voltage fluctuations within the BIOS to not introduce any further unwanted variables into the mix that would only negatively affect the results.
starting with a measured max noise level. Without a doubt, the regular Lightwings fans at 43 decibels are the quietest among the bunch. The high speed version on the other hand makes my decibel meter read out a whopping 52 decibels, which however given the fan speed of 2500 rpm can still be considered fairly quiet, so to speak. In a test with the CPU running at full load, at max fan speed, the Lightwings high speed clearly take home victory, racing past the competition and even their own slower Lightwings models. After all, keep in mind, we're still dealing with the very same AIO liquid cooler. It didn't come in as much of a surprise that the performance at a fixed 40 decibels of the high speed version does take an immense hit basically luring them down to the level of the regular Lightwings when not letting the high-speed version do what it's best at. So this makes me come up with the following conclusion. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to grab the high-speed version of those Lightwings fans if you know and plan right away that you won't be making use of their full potential. Although in the end, pricing dictates what makes sense. Now since at least over here in Europe, there's hardly much of a price difference between the two mentioned versions, I'd still go as far and say, just go with the Lightwings high speed. I mean, having extra headroom surely isn't a bad thing. One wish or request I still wasn't able to complete though, and that is to include popular Noctua fans into my comparison. I just didn't happen to get the perfect moment for it yet, especially since I have to be very wise. What I spend my money on this year, I need to save a lot of money. Surely that applies to many of you too, and I'm not making a secret out of it. So I can certainly recommend these Be Quiet Lightwings high speed 120mm fans. The pricing may be a bit rough to some, but quality has its price after all, which is especially true when it comes to fans. It usually directly affects longevity, and I speak of personal experience. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll be there for my next video as well.